My name is Dahlia Nair and I'm working on a project called 2125 Stanley Street. Part of this is inspired by the um, creation of a digital, huge digital archive of my family. As I've looked through some of these photos, um, of course the relationships to those people and portraits and um, what I remember and what I don't remember. Um, and how over the zillions of slides we used to look through uh, <laughs> with our family, um, how my relationship to those photos changed over time. I'm shifting from an external space into an internal landscape and um, from a natural sort of um, environmental um, inspiration to a more uh, personal, historical, um, and the, the landscape um, within within the house, uh, within a domestic space. How's that? How is that a different kind of landscape that informs who we are? You know, I have two brothers, and I remember them leaving their socks everywhere, and that my mom would, um, you know, enter room and just blaze through and pick them up with her toes. And so, um, part of my collection of material for this work was thinking about the kinds of embodiment I was around and the virtuosity of those daily tasks. I think about, um, you know, the place I really be belong are those moments where there's just an extreme sense of comfort. And so then I think about my mom talking on the phone um, in the background and I think about uh, the way my grandfather used to put her around in the background and then the next thing you knew he made this like incredible matrix of clotheslines. <laughs> I've been doing um, what I consider portraits, um, extreme close-ups of, um, of the feet and hands um, of um, people who I feel are informed this piece. When I started um, talking to Lauren about working on this piece, um, I started just to describe how I was interested in the realm of the domestic space. And um, there he um, just started a series of experiments. He was really um, inspired by um, adapting to the space and um, seeing what sound he can pick up from what's already here, um, close lines and um, using pickup mics to pick up sound from uh, many sources. This has been an amazing experience. It's been a huge, huge gift um, on many levels. But just to have the time and space, obviously, to explore, to my collaborators coming from New York to get out of the city, um, and be in a place um, that is so stunning and beautiful, and just to feel supported in what we're doing has been has been huge and so inspiring. We wake up just full of energy and excitement to get to the Grange and to work. We were here at 6.30 this morning, um, listening to the roosters, making music, basking in the sun on the porch, and um, yesterday I think we also put in a 15-hour day or something, and it, was, it wasn't something that we planned, it just, um, it just felt right. You know, what we've really wanted to do is run uh, hundreds of experiments, and um, Usually when we rehearse, we have a lot of equipment to lug to each rehearsal. So to be here and really set up shop and not have to lug back and forth every day allows the piece to just emerge in, in a totally different way.